Anyway, folks, I'm back with uh, two exciting sets of videos I captured from my recent trips. But first, I'm going to show you how to denoise videos. I purchased a uh, really neat um, software uh, tool to allow me to do that, uh, and the results are just incredible. You'll see some long-range visibility uh, through, you know, sub-optimal viewing. Um, there was a lot of haze, as you'll see, yet I was able to squeeze so much resolution out of these videos. Just incredible stuff, folks. Once winter rolls around and the air's clear, wow, I'm going to make some incredible breakthroughs but for now let's dive into it so this is a noise um, reduction software look at that did you see how it removed all the noise wow this is incredible now the way it works uh, towards the bottom you see uh, the orange uh, uh, frames um, I set that to 5 frames, so it interpolates, it does 5 before and 5 after the center frame. So by adding the images uh, from adjacent frames, and um, I hope it's registering the image as well, it, it, it is able to reduce the noise significantly. I mean, this is really incredible. Um, yeah, then it also has uh, it has a temporal um, tab for doing all this, then it has a spatial. So after it does all that, I can do further adjustments, uh, filtering, I can even sharpen the image. Uh, very versatile and uh, I'm really pleased. I'm going to try to uh, redo um, a lot of my... Um, other 4k uh, footage that I've put out already so I'm working on a really neat uh, video now here's a before and after comparison this is incredible stuff folks just look at that wow you know if you were looking at the image on the left you wouldn't know what you're seeing but after you interpolate uh, wow, things just pop out. Incredible stuff. Now let's have a look at uh, how infrared does through smoke. infrared long pass filter now look at that isn't that incredible I didn't even notice where the smoke was you'll see me looking around fishing for it now that I'm editing the video I can see it but in the viewfinder I couldn't spot it so that's why I'm kind of fishing around to see it and I'll I'll notice it in, in a second There it is. You see it? Towards the center, right there. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? You can see through it. That's uh, one of the advantages of uh, infrared imaging. Uh, firefighters use this to uh, you know, be able to see the smoke. Now here I'm flying over Phoenix and looking north. That's Humphreys Peak. Look at all the haze and smoke in the air. Just incredible. But once we put on an infrared filter, wow! Have a look at this, folks. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, this is so awesome this video clip has already been processed notice how smooth it is and clear 
this was captured uh, with my uh, camcorder um, and uh, that one is usually noisy look look at the quality here wow now in the distance notice the relative movement because we're in the air flying isn't that trippy look at that Bizarre. Can you figure out which way we're flying? <laughs> it can be confusing because the background is moving to the left and the foreground to the right. And you may be thinking we're going to the right, but no, we're flying to the left. Isn't that weird? Wow. Look at all that stuff way in the distance. That's uh, into Utah. Looking way out there past the Grand Canyon. You'll see it shortly uh, in the next clip. Wow! Look at that. Now we're zoomed in and panning around. Oh, look at that. This is incredible. Wow, look at that mountain. That's not that's in Utah. That's Navajo Mountain. And that's the Grand Canyon North Rim, right there. That's the Grand Canyon North Rim. Now let's try to do an angle analysis because uh, we have a lot of clarity here and land features are lining up. So Kendrick Peak seems to be lining up with uh, the canyon rim as showing in this picture. So we'll try to um, determine an angle, a look down angle, uh, based on these two features, their elevation and the distance they are apart from each other. This is a screen grab uh, from the clip we saw earlier and I put down a line uh, to kind of line up the features there. Notice uh, in the foreground um, we're sort of parallel to that road and uh, that will help us uh, figure out where about we're at uh, while we're looking down uh, from the uh, airplane. Here I'm uh, panning around, trying to see uh, roughly uh, where I'm at, and I put down already that line um, going right over that peak, and uh, it appears we're sort of uh, sighting that uh, canyon up there. Now the peak seems to be at 10,200 feet elevation. Um, noticeable when I zoom in and now as we go out um, we'll notice uh, this canyon uh, this part of the canyon right about there um, and of course the airplane is moving and um, this analysis is somewhat approximate but uh, I think this is what we're seeing. Um, it's a part of this rim here. So um, let's uh, put all this uh, um, data together and do some calculations. So first we'll do a flat surface analysis. And in the top right inset, um, we see the airplane. I was flying at about 30,000 feet. And I'm 204 miles away from that uh, canyon, which has an elevation of 5,200. Um, I've also drawn in there Kendrick Peak at 10,200. So we basically have two triangles, one uh, between the Kendrick Peak and the canyon, and the other one from the canyon to the airplane. So when I calculate the angles, um, I get angles which are very close, um, 1.2 degrees and 
the air is on the order of 0.1 degrees by just varying the distance somewhat you know plus or minus you know five miles or changing the elevation of the aircraft by like you know plus or minus two three thousand uh barely changes those numbers so this is incredible folks now let's see a curved analysis this is an image from google earth and notice we can't even see the peaks now in the inset um, i've tried to put the airplane and the peak somewhat to scale also the peak seems to be uh, to scale um, at one fourth the distance the only thing that's not to scale here is obviously the curvature of the earth it's too pronounced but in 204 miles the geometry changes by three degrees, folks. Isn't that incredible? Yet from our previous analysis, we're barely off by 0.1 degrees. Wow. The Earth is really flat, folks. This is just mind boggling. But what really boggles my mind is that I was able to see across the whole state of New Mexico from north to south. Have a look at this stuff, folks. Here we just passed uh, El Paso. You can see the white sands to the left. You see right there? Yeah. So we're way into Texas already. And now we're looking northward. And uh, have a look at this stuff, folks. Look at that. Oh my God. Whoa. Whoa! Oh my god, look at that. Now the focus really sucks here. This camera is so annoying. Um, that's why I, I prefer my Alpha 6000. This was the, uh, the other one, the camcorder. Come on, focus! There we go, there we go. This, this, uh, this mountain here in the foreground is about halfway through the state. Bear with me here, folks. I wanted to give you the whole clip and not cut anything out. Come on. Now, this was during, um, you know, somewhat hazy conditions, and this, this clip has been processed and the noise reduced. Uh, and still, I mean, it has noise in it, but look at that. faintly see on my computer monitor I can faintly see stuff we'll see when I upload it if you guys can see the hills and mountains up there way in the distance we see peaks rising above the peaks in the foreground that's way to Colorado folks man look at that that just blew me away these software tools are what it's making all this possible because in all that noise I wasn't gonna spot anything with any you know confidence level but now that I have this denoising tool I can uh, extract a lot of detail wow I can only imagine how it's gonna be in the spring or fall when the air is clear wow As I zoom away, it looks like the features are going behind the curve, doesn't it? It's very trippy. Incredible stuff, folks. All I can say, folks, is behold the flat earth. This is incredible. We're looking across a whole state here. Just boggles the mind, folks. This is a composite. I took a few screen grabs and kind of patched them together. Just incredible stuff, folks. Um, yeah, you know, what can we say? The Earth is flat. Um, surprise, surprise. I hope you've enjoyed this epic presentation, folks. Stay tuned for more. I am busy as can be, but I'm processing a lot of these videos and I'm gonna clean up and put together some very neat. Uh, presentations and also I'm making progress on uh, 
other uh, fronts. Um, I don't want to ruin the surprise, but I'm honing in on some um, incredible stuff. So, thanks for watching and uh, for your kind comments. And um, check back soon because uh, you never know when I'll post another video. <laughs> I hope you're all having a wonderful summer and uh, staying cool out there because it's pretty hot. God bless. See you next time.